everybody and a warm welcome to my channel Tarot by Isabella. I am very happy to see you here today and I hope you're all doing fine even if we live in very strange and turbulent times for the moment. Today's video will be a reading about the so-called disease X. Um, to do this reading today, I'm going to use my tarot cards, oracle cards, and some dice. But before we begin, I must thank you all, you wonderful, wonderful viewers out there, for all of your support to this channel. Without your help, without your comments and sharing and caring and coffees, um, it would not be possible for me to continue doing more videos. So I'm very grateful, and uh, it helps really, really a lot. Well, what about this disease X? I have uh, a little paper here, little notes about this disease. Uh, but I also want to mention that in the description, I have put a couple of links. Uh, it's mainstream uh, media links. What is out officially about this disease X? But what I'm going to talk here is not really the official story. It's more, is there um, something, some hidden agenda behind this disease X? Uh, will it come? A disease X? Uh, will there be a cure uh, that is safe and effective? As the last strange disease that was hit, um, that we were hit by the last three years. Uh, a little bit what the cards have to say about this disease X. So if you want to look what the official story about the disease X is, you have some links in the description. Anyway, it could be that uh, there are some words I cannot pronounce here on this um, platform. So maybe I will use a substitute word for uh, certain words, but I think you all, may, most of you will understand what I'm talking about if I change one word, word to a, a other word. And this is due to a lot of censorship and so on. So we'll have to be a little bit careful which kind of words one use here. But uh, whatever information comes, it's not well, it's what the cards have to say, yeah. And uh, I have a little disclaimer about that. Anyway, uh, what about this disease X? Um, there is a meeting going on in Davos with the World Economic Forum. And on this uh, meeting, meeting with the world leaders and the globalists, uh, they talk a lot about uh, this disease X also there. Mm? And uh, the cause of this mysterious disease X is currently unknown. Yet it is considered a serious microbial, microbial threat. The WHO added disease X in 2017, I remember 2017, to a short list of pathogens deemed a top priority for research along known killers like severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS and Ebola. The mysterious disease X made it into the agenda of the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, with WHO Director Theodros, I cannot pronounce his last name, but anyway, the Director General, joining other health officials to discuss it, reported Bloomberg. Reportedly, a meeting titled Preparing for Disease X was spotted by the observers in the WEF agenda. Experts believe that this mysterious disease X could cause 20 times more deaths than a coronavirus pandemic. Mm -hmm. How do they know that? Yeah. COVID-19 caused by a novel coronavirus was an example of a disease X when it touched off the pandemic at the end of 2019. 
The vast reservoir of viruses circulating in wildlife are seen as a likely source of more such diseases. That's because of their potential to spill over and infect other species, including humans, giving rise to an infection against which people will have no immunity. So without a word. Words. They are talking about a disease that is does not exist yet. And uh, in some other places on, online you can also see that they are already preparing with some kind of vaccines to this disease. And that would be as safe and effective as the last vaccines that was forced on many people around the globe. And we, many of us, not all, but many of us have noticed this safeness and so-called effectiveness that these um, shots had. And they also talk about, uh, yeah, the successfulness, sorry, <laughs> I have to laugh about that, successfulness with the mRNA, mRNA uh, shots and that technology and that could probably um, come very in handy uh, with the new vaccines that could come with this disease X. Mm. Sounds quite strange, but who knows what they are planning there in, in Davos in, with the World Economic Forum. Anyway, I'm going to look into this disease X. I uh, have some new cards today, and um, they are called Tarot Grand Deluxe. So, it's the first time for them. Uh, and uh, the first thing I'm going to look into is, is there a disease X? Or will there come a disease X? What is going on there? Is it something that is planned already to be released or is it something that is um, a uh, strange twist of nature to put on humans. So let's see. What is this disease X? I just need to shuffle a little bit more. Disease X. And some Oracle cards. Finally, some dice. The cards, they look like this. Okay, let's see what we have here if there is a disease called X. On the tarot cards, we have King of Coins, Four of Cups, One of Swords, The Magician and The Fool. 
On the oracle cards we have Enjoy the Journey, Moon, Father, Husband, Brother, Son, Reach Out, Sweetheart. And on the dice we have a pyramid, a desire for, and feeling. Um, according to the cards, there is no disease X out there yet. But there is a desire for disease X. Those on the top of the pyramid, or those who believe they are on the top of the pyramid, global class, uh, they want to rule. We have father, husband, brother, son, under there we have the ace of swords, a desire for rule, to rule over us. And uh, with that kind of disease, and they think they would have the power to rule over us. But we have been fooled once. We have the fool and the magician, an illusion. And people are aware of this illusion. There is a feeling out there, an intuition in many of us, that something is not right. And there is an illusion. We have been tricked. We have been fooled. Uh, so it looks like they are thinking how to start this with this disease X. Mm. It's still not out there, but uh, there is a plan about it. Mm. And how to move on to make that plan work. But I don't think they will be successful because as we have the fool and the magician. And there is a feeling inside the majority of the people around the world that something is trickery here. Mm. Well, let's continue to the next question. And on the next question I will look if they... Oh, no, I will not say. Uh, I will say it different. Uh, if we will have a next disease X, if something will happen um, that we will suffer a new horrible pandemic that is 20 times more deadlier than the last one. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's strange. The last Jibrija that was so safe and effective and didn't cure anyone or nothing. Instead, a lot of people all around the world are suffering from this Jibrija uh, and a lot of deaths and horrible things have come out from that safe and effective Jibrija. And if they're trying to push a new Jibberi jab for a, a disease that is so much more deadly than the last one, one can wonder what they have in that Jibberi jab. Uh, one has to remember that millions and millions of people took this and uh, many of them are suffering a lot of strange and horrible side effects and this is rising and rising and it could be a good time to release something new to cover up those horrible things that are happening mm -hmm. But let's see, if we will suffer a new, more horrific pandemic than the last one, with a strange pathogen called X. Will we have another... Horrible pandemic.
I need some more cards here. Okay, and the cards, they look like this. So let's see what we have here. In the tarot cards we have the world, two of swords, four of wands, six of cups, eight, no, nine of swords, three of swords, page of wands, seven of coins, and ten of wands. On the oracle cards we have you are cherished by the angels, loss, go now, lady, self-reward, and on the dice we have um, windmill, a mountain, and turn. According to the cards, it looks like um, the people are turning. More and more people are aware of what is happening around the world. Um, and what is really going on behind the scenes. It looks like they will try to push a new kind of strange disease out to the public. And that is as the last time with uh, a lot of fear, a lot of danger and so on and so on. And they will work really hard to get that out. But I don't see them be successful because we have the Three of Swords. So they have to put down that project. Uh, because people are more aware of what is going on. They are stronger now. They are like the mountains. Um, they will not be tricked into something uh, like this again. Mm -hmm. But it looks like they will try. And when they see that they have too much resistance or too little fear from the public, they will put down the project and just like the monkeypox, mm -hmm. where did they disappear? Yes. Suddenly it was so dangerous and the next day they were gone. Something like that. Uh, and it's very important to not be fearful. Uh, eventually the truth will come out. What happened the last three years. But also what lies behind this one. Uh, it's a little bit like a test. How long we have come in uh, being aware and awake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we're going to take some last cards on this disease X. If there are any last words to be said. One have to remember Many scientists do a lot of research on very horrible pathogens with biological warfare and so on. So that there exists already a lot of horrible pathogens. Um, just pick one. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Some last word, words about this disease. Is it something we should be afraid of? Is it something that is really, really very dangerous? Or is it just theoretical until today? Last words for disease X.
and some lice. And the last cards, they look like this. For the last words, we have in the tarot cards, the tower, the strength, eight of coins, king of wands, and the lovers. On the oracle cards, we have surrendering to the journey, release control, a coffin, let it go, appreciate, and jealousy. And on the dice we have ugly, revolting and precious. The last words. It looks like they will try some ugly, dirty, revolting trick. Um, because they are losing control over the people. The people are growing stronger and stronger. We have the strength. And we have eight of coins, so they are like working together. And they're working together in love, the lovers. And so they're choosing other ways than the, uh, the agenda that is being pushed on them. Um, the good thing is, those ugly, revolting, people uh, that are behind many of horrible things that happens in our world as to today, they will end up in coffins. So we the people will be able to let it go. Yeah. Uh, and there are precious time waiting ahead. They will try something, but I don't see it deadly to us. It's more the ugly, revolting people that will end up in coffins. Because the other cards around here are very positive. It's just the beginning. Mm. And the people are not the ugly, revolting ones. It's uh, those high high on the top of the pyramid. Mm. I'm gonna take one card to see when they will try to uh, come out with this disease X that now we have a it's released or people are getting infected with it. When? We have six of wands. And six of wands could mean six days, six weeks, six months. It could also mean that they will try, but the good forces will stop it. So as soon as they try, they will be stopped. Mm. The strength uh, will stop it. They will not have success with it. The victory will go to the people. It all depends on our complying to uh, different kind of jibbery jab treatments. Mm. If nobody complies to jibbery jab, then, um, well, what can they do? Nothing. They have to put down the project. So according to the cards, they will try something, but it will not be successful. And those who were trying will be put in coffins. Meaning those who wish humanity harm will not end up well. Yeah. So, 
for this reading, I have to say, as a summary, um, it's good to read a little bit about this disease X and make your own opinion, think logical, ask question, questions, and um, there are a lot of lot of sh shady areas one could ask a lot of questions about. But according to the cards, they will try something, but they will not be successful. And that is because so many people are awake and aware and what is going on. And a lot of people's intuition have also been awakened. And that will also be like a guardian angel, if one believes in those, uh, protecting them from uh, making some fatal decision decisions with a gibberish job. And um, okay, I will take one one last card, and that is what will happen to all those globalist people in the Davos meeting? Because I'm curious myself, what will happen to them? Will they be able to hold? more meetings or is that concept WEF soon gone? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take some cards on that. Will they continue to make plans with WHO for him to help save humanity and learn them? And teach them how to eat the bugs. Mm. And teach the children that a boy is not a boy, a boy is a girl, and so on. Will they continue? What will happen to those people? And the cards, they look like this. Okay, here we have Eight of Coins, Ten of Swords, King of Wands. On the Oracle cards we have Stars, Embracing Enthusiasm, Shout to the Heavens with Happiness, and Thief. We have in the center Ten of Swords, and they will be put down. And there is a man with handcuffs, behind his back. So it seemed those people who wished humanity ill will be put in jail, put down. They will be exposed as thieves. And who and there is work going on to expose those people. So there is a lot of things going on that we don't see and stars so it also look like we have friends in the stars people or beings from other star systems or uh, non-terrestrial beings but also extraterrestrial beings that are helping in this process to expose them and a lot of people would be quite happy when that happens because um, we need that exposure. Mm. We need that to come out to the open. Uh, we need to see who rules what and why. Mm. And uh, I don't think there will be so many meetings in Davos in the future. I cannot say if this is the last one or next year is the last one, but um, it looks like soon there will be no more. All this group down there will be 
Uh, I see. The salt. Yeah, that's the right one. So, yeah, that was my answer for the disease X. And the, you have all the choice. Uh, you have the choice to choose um, a gibberish app or uh, go into fear or just take it easy and do not comply and see where it goes. Um, according to the cards, anyway, it looks like whatever that will come out will be very quickly taken away uh, without too much um, panic from the people. Mm. Yeah, you can shout wolf one, two, three. At that time, probably people will start believing you. Well, that was my answers for disease X and uh, if you have liked what you have seen and heard please don't forget to press like button share button and subscription button and to all of you wonderful viewers out there I want to thank you so much for watching and hopefully we're gonna see each other soon bye bye mm -hmm.